Booth and Bell Fury up front. They're on the gas out of turn four. Green flags waving. So Justin Bell Fury is going to jump out to lead on Aaron Roof. It's now Steve Blundell will go to work on the high side of John Greenlaw. Greenlaw makes contact, contact with Blunda. He'll go into the woods. Red flag is going to wave. Blunda making contact with the nine car of John Greenhall. The Ipswich Mass driver goes for a ride into the woods. Red flag away. He's out of the car, he's all right. Let's hear it for John Greenlaw out of Ipswich Mass, the Wilson welding car. He took back underway that Aaron Roof car is going to take the lead from It's Roof, Belfury and Payne. Roof now stretching it out on Belfury. Belfury is being hounded by Joey Payne. Down the back stretch. Belfury trying to hold off challenges from Payne. Payne's going to go to low side down the front stretch into turns one and two. Payne down low, Belfury up high down the back stretch. Payne's going to pull ahead of Belfury. So the Jersey Jet, Joey Payne's going to move into the In the meantime, Aaron Roof having the run of his life out in the lead. Aaron Roof out front trying to hold off the Jersey Jet, Joey Payne is there halfway. Now the Jersey Jet, Payne gonna go to the low side of the roof, into turns three and four, Payne just bobbles a little bit. Out of that fourth turn, Payne goes wrong, they take the lead from Roof. Aaron Roof still having a great run though. So it's Payne, Roof, and Elf Fury. So the Miller contracting car finds itself out front. As Joey Payne will come down to the start finish line to get two to go this time by just two laps left for the Jersey Jet, Joey Payne. Roof appears to have mechanical troubles as he'll fade back, allow Justin Belfair to move the second. White flag will fly one more time around for Joey Payne, just one lap left. Down the back, stretching into turns three and four. The checkers are waving, and the winner is going to be the Jersey Jet. Joey Payne taking the win, followed by Justin Belfury, Aaron Roof, and Brian West. are going to jump out into the lead now. Joe Petro followed by Rich Whitcomb. Here comes Paul Brown now on the high side. He'll fade back just a little bit, allow Howie Lane to move up. Chris Purley in the r, &R Machine 11 now works the low side of Brown through turns three and four. Four cars under a blanket through turns one and two down the back stretch now. Lane works the low side of Heil. Howie Lane brings Scott Heil to the high side. Uh, Up front though, battle for the lead now. Joe Petro and Richie Whitcomb. Petro down low, Whitcomb up high out of the fourth turn there, wing to wing, near the wheel. Out of that second turn now, it looks like Petro is gonna take the lead over though. Whitcomb's gonna fade back to second. Howie Lane third, and Chris Purley fourth. Halfway with five laps left in this one for Joe Petro. So it's Petro, Whitcomb, Lane, Purley, and Brown.
The Delta Well Super Lynch car for Joe Petro out front right now. As the field makes its way single file down the back stretch. Top five cars, single file out of the fourth turn. Two to go, just two to go for Joe Petro. Petro and Whitcomb. Whitcomb gonna try the high side one more time, white flag. Last time around for Joe Petro. Through turns three and four out of the fourth turn. Checker's gonna wave, it's gonna be Joey Petro taking down the win. Followed by Richie Whitcomb, Howie Lane, Chris Purley, and Paul Brown. Dole and Dave Rosenfield. For you fans here tonight, This group together off a of turn four. The throttles are down and we're underway. In the turn one, Aaron Roof quickly jumps out to the lead. Mel Fury in second, Petro third, Whitcomb fourth, and Scott Heil fifth. On the outside, they'll hit the flying point of the jersey, Jet Joe Payne Jr. Down the back stretch, it's Roof, Mel Fury, Petro, Whitcomb, and Heil. Look at Brian Wood and Joe Payne Jr. though. They're coming from the back and they're coming fast. Payne looking to the bottom of Pitt Wood. Wood shuts the door going on the backstretch. Payne though already up to seven spots. He wants to make it back to back. He dives underneath Hile. He takes the sixth spot from Hile going down the backstretch. Payne is up to six. He's looking far as he looks low on Brian Wood. But Brian Wood, the up-and-coming star in the Supers, says, no way, you're on my home track, pal. Side by side, Richie Whitcomb and Joe Petro for the third and fourth spot. Side by side, right behind them, as Payne now does have the line. He dives under both Wood and Whitcomb. Payne is now up to four. Payne coming up on Petro. Will he go high or will he go low? He dives into Petro. He takes the third spot. Payne is on a mission tonight. Out front, it's still Aaron Roof. Followed by Justin Belfry, but here comes Payne. Wood now up to fifth, and he goes underneath with them in turn three and four. Nine laps down, this time by, as Aaron Roof still holds the lead. Bell Fury seems to be starting to close in, but then here comes Payne. Petro and Wood. Wood looks to the outside of Petro down the back stretch. He wants the fourth spot. Side by side and turn four. Wood puts the throttle down and powers by going down the front stretch. It's still your leader Roof. Followed by Bell Fury, Payne, Wood, and Petro in top five. Brian West underneath Richie Winston looking to take away the sixth spot. Chris Curley comes with him. He drops Richie Winston back to eight. Curley now looking low on Brian West. West shuts the door though, going into turn one. West, another up and coming rookie in the super modified class, trying to follow in the great Eddie West footsteps. Up front now, Payne is starting to close in on Bell Ferry for that runner-up spot. 14 laps down for leader Roof. Payne and Bell Ferry now, right close together down the back stretch. Payne looking low, coming off a of turn four, but Bell Ferry powers out to the lead. Ryan Wood now strongly in fourth. Beats Bell fifth, Curly up to six. Down for your second year drive a row. Bell Fury and Payne close together still. Lap track will become a factor soon here. Bell Fury and Payne still close together. Side by side, Curly and Pizza. Curly makes it in the top five. Joe Petro 
Jumps on the throttle, this side by side, coming out of turn four. In the turn one, Roof trying to hold off Bell Fury. Down the back stretch, they're still side by side. Brian Wood has jumped up to the third spot. Brian Wood looking strong on the outside. Wood takes the second spot and he's going for the lead. Brian Wood taking the lead in the turn three. Coming off a of turn four, Brian Wood taking the lead. Out into the lead. Bell Ferry second, Roof third, Payne fourth. What a surprise here. Wood has jumped into the lead. Wood, Wood Bell Ferry, Payne, and Petro. Wanda goes spinning into the infield. Yellow on the speedway. Jim Beebe waves the light. Next time by, get ready to feel the thunder. A shootout, 14 laps on the tight little bull ring. Brian Wood on the throttle. Bell Fury on a two. Contact on turn one. They both power into turn one. Wood resumes the lead down the back stretch. Down the back stretch into turn three. It's Wood, Bell Fury, Payne, Roof, and Curly. Payne on the bottom. Takes away the second spot from Bell Fury. He wants a shot at Wood. This time by 12 laps remain for the young rookie, Brian Wood. Can he do it? Curtis Wood doesn't have too much power. If he keeps driving like this, Brother Russ is going to be taking lessons from him. Backstretch, it's Wood and Payne playing a game. Payne on the throttle, Wood gets on it now, too. Off a of turn four, Payne powers out ahead of the rookie. Payne looking to take the win. Can Wood show the power that he had a couple laps ago? This time by, there's seven laps remaining. Another spin, though, turn three. Into turn three, it's Payne and Wood on the throttle. Looking strong on the outside as Wood. Payne powers into the lead on to turn one. Contact between Wood and Valkyrie. They both straight out. Pearly off the back stretch, but he keeps command. He keeps it under control and he keeps the throttle down. Payne rocketing down the back stretch. He's starting to pull ahead of the back. With five laps remaining, it's Payne, Wood, Bell Fury, and Howie Lane, your top five. This time by, there's four laps left to go with Curly Payne. Side by side, Curly and Bell Fury. 
for the third spot. Curly takes the third spot back. Starter Jim Beebe hits a pump for six in the air. There's two more laps to go for his jersey set. Joe Banks. Woods, Curly, Belfury, and Lane, your top five. One lap to go, one quarter mile for Payne. Payne takes a total command now, out of turn four, taking the checkered flag in Payne, followed by Woods, Curly, Belfury, and Lane, rounding out your top five. to Joey Payne being already qualified for the Oswego Classic in September. The guaranteed starting spot will go to the number 79 of Brian Woods. There he is, folks, two weeks in a row. He's taken the win in the 35-lap main event in the Gibraltar Financial Corp. Miller excavating number four, it's Joey Payne, Jr. Distributors can present the hardware to the young rookie, Brian Woods. 